how did I develop my concept for this brief? So I started off by looking at cells um, and fungi and how they grow, what shapes and patterns they make. And um, yeah, that's kind of how I started. And then I just started doing the makeup, sort of doing my own interpretation of it. And then I decided to push myself with this prompt and Photoshop isn't something I'm relatively good at and I really wanted to push myself and I only know basic skills in Photoshop so I decided to spend like five hours I think it was editing and just like really playing around with um, Photoshop and seeing what I could create with it and that's basically how it happened really. What's my design process? My design process is plan, prepare, go for it and don't give up. What's been inspiring me at in the moment? Well, um, recently, unfortunately, me and my family lost my nan to cancer. And since she's been born, I've been trying to think about all the things she'd be telling me right now. She wouldn't want me to be sad <laughs> and she wouldn't want me to give up. Um, and if I was having down days, she'd always be right next to me and she'd always be supporting me. Um, and yeah, and I always, say to myself like I inspire to be like her when I'm older um, and she's just such a lovely heartwarming person so she's definitely been inspiring me at the moment. When am I the most inspired? I get inspired by when I see other people's work and just how talented they are and the passion they have for it. It just gets me going and then I really want to create something cool. What's my biggest strength? My biggest strength is I'm great at working in a team. Um, I really like working together with people and having conversations with people, meeting new people. And yeah, just basically working out a problem or solving a situation as a team. What's my current obsession? My current obsession at the moment is definitely skincare. I've got like a massive collection of face masks at the moment and face creams, eye creams, the lot. And sometimes I, I go on and off with this one because sometimes I get a bit lazy with my skincare. And then I see a post or I just remind myself about how important skincare is, especially for when you grow older. And then I'm like, oh my God, I need to do my skincare. And then I just have this month where I'm just obsessed with it, which is definitely what I'm going through right now. What's the current product that I swear by? See, this one's a hard one because I have quite a lot of products that I'm obsessed with and that I love. But a recent one that I've sort of started trying out is the Revolution uh, Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I love a full coverage foundation for one. That is definitely a tick for me. And I have found that this definitely is full coverage and it is very good. It's one I'm wearing now, actually. And um, another thing I like about it is that it says it's cruelty free and vegan, which is something I've been looking for and trying to change in my makeup kit at the moment, because I'm really trying to get rid of all makeup products that test on animals or are not vegan. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a win for me. What's the biggest piece of advice you've been given? The biggest piece of advice I've been given is from my mum. Every time I doubt myself, she always says to me, he who dares wins, which is true. It's a famous quote from Only Fools and Horses, if you didn't know. Um, and it, it is true. It's definitely true because whenever you're anxious about something or you're thinking of backing out from a makeup shoot because you're not confident enough, you should still go for it no matter what any any opportunity you get you should so go for it because even if it goes really really wrong it's just a learning curve and if it goes really really right right then it's a win-win so yeah it's definitely definitely a good piece of advice